The diagnosis of myocardial infarction can frequently be difficult. In particular, we have to differentiate type 1 from type 2 infarcts. Type 1 infarcts are the classical heart attack due to atherosclerotic plaque rupture, thrombus formation and occlusion of the vessel. We have excellent treatments in the form of statins, antiplatelet agents, coronary angiography and stenting. Type 2 infarcts are different. They're due to demand supply mismatch due to another cause. This might include hypoxia, uh, tachyarrhythmia, low blood pressure or thromboembolism. Crucially, the treatment of these type 2 infarcts is frequently different and therefore it's an important differentiation to make. We here present a case of a 66-year-old gentleman who presented with an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. He was found by the ambulance crew to be in ventricular fibrillation and was successfully shocked out of it. His post resuscitation ECG showed some SC elevation and he was transferred as an emergency to the cath lab. There he was found to have an occluded circumflex vessel. This was opened up and a stent Im implanted and a high thrombus burden was noted at the time. He went back to the CCU and did extremely well. We noticed some brief uh, paroxysms of atrial fibrillation following his infarct, but generally he was able to get home within a few days. He was recruited into a research study where we were investigating a new molecular imaging technique that identifies fresh thrombus formation. He had the scan and as expected, we saw uptake of our trace at the site of his stent, probably thrombus squashed behind the stent. But also we noticed that he had thrombus in his left atrial appendage. This changed the diagnosis from a type 1 to a type 2 myocardial infarction due to thromboembolism in the context of atrial fibrillation and importantly it changed his treatment. He now required anticoagulation.